The Behind the Book Lecture Series is made possible by World eBook Library, the world's largest database of portable eBooks for academic research, and the World Heritage Encyclopedia, the world's knowledge at your fingertips. Machiavelli's The Prince has become the foremost treatise on power. The driving idea in The Prince, how do you make a dangerous and fluid situation stable? And his answer was, by any means necessary. Niccolo Machiavelli was born around 1449 in Florence. He served as a diplomatic official. He saw what worked in politics and what didn't work in politics. And perhaps most notably, he had some intense experiences with the Catholic Church. Machiavelli was contemporary with the infamous Borgia family. He knew the papacy to be a rather vile and brutal institution. At the time, the papacy was waging acquisitive wars to conquer various city-states, supposedly to bring them under the moral sway of the church, but really just to aggrandize the wealth of the Borgia family. Machiavelli saw certain things uh, socio-culturally that prompted him. Machiavelli's context greatly influenced his political thinking. When the Bendici family reconquered the Florentine Republic, Machiavelli went into a sort of retirement from the public sphere and he began instead writing. He wrote treaties on politics, but he also was a composer of rather popular comedic plays and carnival songs and some poetry. And at the time of his death, he was perhaps best known in his region uh, as that sort of author. But it is his political thinking that has endured through the ages and, and which has given us the term Machiavellian. The term Machiavellian or Machiavellianism has filtered into the English vernacular as a pejorative term, really, that refers to an individual who will stop at nothing to maintain power. Machiavelli's most famous work, The Prince, was written in 1513. It was unique in that it was written in Italian, uh, which was the vernacular as opposed to Latin. And with the prince, it is likely that Machiavelli was trying to get a job. He was in retirement, forced retirement, when he wrote it, and he was probably using it to solicit a position from uh, the Medici family in his native Florence. Machiavelli was writing about a prince that was taking power, a prince that had to stabilize power. He wasn't necessarily writing about the hereditary prince. He was writing about the strong man, somebody who had to seize control in a very fluid, unstable, high-risk political or military situation. Machiavelli was fashioning himself to be uh, a sort of person that we take for granted today, the political consultant. That didn't work out for Machiavelli. He never got his old job back but his political treaties endures. In Machiavelli's analysis, there was a tremendous difference between private morality and public morality. Private morality was good. You were an honest person. You were a, a hardworking person. You were a pious person. But in the public sphere, you could do anything that was necessary to stabilize in your power if you were a prince. In fact, doing wicked things, violent things, dishonest things was likely to secure your power so that you could use it 
for the good of the people. It was no good being an idealist in the political or military sphere. You had to be a realist. And reality was, wickedness worked. Although it is a little unclear in Machiavelli's writing where public good stopped and the prince's individual good started. For Machiavelli, it's pretty much one and the same. The Prince wasn't published widely until five years after Machiavelli's death, and the response to it was immediately negative. Then the Catholic Church banned it. The Prince departed from conventional teachings as espoused by the Catholic Church in terms of both politics and also ethics. They banned it because uh, Machiavelli was saying in the public sphere, anything goes, and of course, uh, the Catholic Church could not let something like that get popular. In fact, it's hard to point to a time in history in which Machiavelli has had uh, a lot of popular support for his writings. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, one of the leading philosophers of the French Revolutionary period, loved Machiavelli. And that Machiavelli only advocated brutal realpolitik because it was necessary. Sometimes you had to shed blood in order to bring about freedom, which was a sentiment that became very popular in the French Revolution. As a political creature, I think Machiavelli is someone that we would immediately recognize in modern day politics. He would find a, a niche here. Uh, he would be a political consultant. He would be a talking head. He would be that guy who used to be in political office, but was ousted for various reasons, and now shows up on all the news TV programs to offer his opinion and his expertise on the issues of the day. Machiavelli persists today in our culture as the voice that says, yeah, but that's not how it really works how it really works is brutal. He is not advocated as a political philosopher, but he is used as a political philosopher and as a cultural philosopher. What equates to power might have changed over the last five centuries, but the thoughts around maintaining power are probably not that different. Warren Buffett said, you know, when he was taking in new employees, that there really were two rules of doing business successfully. The first is that you never lose any of your shareholders' money. The second rule was you never break rule number one. If we think about current business, what is the contemporary variation of the prince's kingdom that Machiavelli wrote about and what keeps people in power? It's shareholder value. The term Machiavellian also gets to use in psychology as the definition of a certain kind of manipulative personality type. In arts, uh, artists as cutting edge as Tupac have quoted Machiavelli. Uh, as someone who understands the hard grit and competition of the street. The Prince has never really been out of print. It is always the book that you love to hate. It exists in political understanding as an example of what pure, unadulterated, real politique, strongman politics is like. Uh, and in that sense, it's been enormously useful. Machiavelli has never been a hero, but he's often been an inspiration.